My name is Karen. I am the social media marketing director here at North Carolina Farms. I create a lot of our content and also write some blogs on what we're doing because we want to share an easy way to market your business um, successfully. We talk a lot about marketing and staying consistent on social media and how that is one of the biggest things that you can do for your business because social media marketing is free. So today we want to talk about how to make Instagram reels on Canva. If you are new to Instagram reels, they are one of the biggest ways currently to make sure your account is seen on Instagram by uh, your followers, but it's also a way to reach new followers. And so people that don't follow your account will still see these reels if they are used correctly and if they are um, targeted to what they're looking at. One of the biggest pieces of advice I would give when you're getting into reels is watch some. Watch a lot. Spend an hour just watching reels or spend a couple 15 minutes a day watching reels. This is going to show you what other people are doing and it's going to show you what audios people are using. We'll get into that in a minute here as well. We'll walk through all of that. Creating reels is going to take some time. It's going to take quite a bit of time, especially when you are new to it. And reels are a huge deal on Instagram and they're a huge deal with the Instagram algorithm. So you're not just going to want to post one re reel a week, you're going to want to try for two or more. So it is gonna take a lot of your time. Uh, if your slower time is starting or if you're slow right now, now is a great time to deep dive into it to just find out what you're doing and possibly create some content for future months for your busy time. I am logged into our Canva account. Um, it is free. We do pay for, uh, you know, further features, um, but you can have a free Canva account and still create good content. Today, I'm just going to be sticking with the free content and we're going to use a template that is for Instagram Reels. Sometimes it'll be here in this menu that you see on my screen, but today it doesn't seem to be, oh, there it is. If you can't find it here, you can go to create a design and type in Instagram Reel. And then we're just going to click on that. This sizes the design for you to the correct dimensions and it shows you templates of what you could use. Canva also offers free photos, videos, and graphics you can use in your reels. We're going to begin by scrolling through our template options. Um, if it has this crown, that means that it does have to be paid for. Um, but if it does not have the crown, it is free to use with no issue. So I'm going to click on this one. You'll see here it has multiple pages. If I pull this template into my design, I can then edit the text. I can edit this uh, square around it. I can change the color. Uh, somehow I can edit the video if I get it just right. Let me you can edit the video here. I can uh, change how long the video goes, or I can also just delete the video completely and add my own. And so that's what I'm going to do. I like to go to elements and go ahead and throw in a grid, make sure it is in the back. And then I'm going to go to my uploads and add my own Here's when we talk about succulents. Let's see how this video does in this grid. And then you can edit the text um, to whatever you want it to say. And then if you press this play, you get to watch your reel. Um, at this point, it's short, simple, 
but it's a reel and Instagram's gonna like that. Photos can be used as reels and they are probably one of the easiest things to use as reels because you already have the content on your camera roll. So let's go to design and we're gonna do something for fall because fall is coming up. September starts soon in a few days and uh, everyone is preparing for fall even though it is still quite warm. So we'll use this one. This one is a fall post. So let's go back to elements, click a grid. It automatically went to the back, but I'm just gonna confirm that it's in the back, which it is. Scroll down here, I'm gonna go to photos this time. And I wanna use, you know, pansies are great. Great fall plant. So we're gonna say, uh, does this look? Pansy, no. Fall plant. And obviously you can change the font, but I just want to leave it for right now. I'm gonna delete that one. Move you around. We're gonna say pansies. That this is nine seconds long. We can change that. We can change the duration over here. I want this to go for six seconds. So boom. it is now six seconds long. What we also can do is animate these pieces of text. So this one actually already is animated uh, from the template. I don't particularly like that for this font. So we're gonna change it. Oh. You can play around and see how you like it. We're gonna animate pansies. There we go, okay. So now we've got some movement on the photo, on top of the photo, and so that makes it um, something that people are going to pay more attention to rather than if it was just a photo sitting there. So that's that. Let's do one more um, that's actually kind of trending right now. Has been for a while, actually. So you can jump on this trend. It is simply back-to-back -back pictures. So it automatically assigns that it is going to be five seconds long. Again, you can change this up here um, or click duration and you'll be able to change it there. And so the trend actually is that there are flashes of photos and so they last for a second. Um, and you just do as many of those as you have photos for. I'm just duplicating all these pages so I can have five photos. I don't know if I have any uploaded. Let's see what we've got. All right, here are some seedling trays. I'm gonna align that wherever I want it. Oh, that was supposed to be page one. Let's go to the front. And then we're going to add that this is a pansy. Again, so right now we're doing fall crops and that is what I have easily accessible. And let's see, let's do vegetables. So here we're gonna actually, we could type in vegetables, which is what I was going to do, but we can actually see right here, we've used some recently. This is actually what I was looking for. So we've got quite a bit. Brussels sprouts is a good one, got one of these. This is simply just five photos. If we watch it, you can see it's just quick images. It's actually better when it's a second. I'll watch that again. So it's quick images. It actually calls for a lot of rewatches. When images are so quick like that, people are going to rewatch your reel over and over until they have seen every image that they wanted to. And so it is a good way to get more views. Um, so this is the first step. Now let's upload a reel. 
Here you can add from your camera roll. And this can be a picture or a video that you created in Canva or a video that you have on your phone. A lot of reels now are B-roll with audio behind it. So you just set your phone up while you're planting a pot or cutting a pot or uh, filling a pot with soil or whatever you're doing in the greenhouse. And then you put some audio behind it. So that's how you add from your camera roll. Even if it's just an image, we're gonna go to audio and just click through as you're listening. If you see a reel that has an audio that you would like to use, click on the square that's down in the bottom right hand corner. It'll show you everything about the audio, including how other people have used it and how many reels it's been used in and if it is currently trending. Trending will show you under, there's the name of the audio and then there's the creator of the audio. And then underneath that, it'll show you if it's trending or not. If you don't have a reel that you wanna use this for right now, but you do wanna create one for later or you do wanna use this at some point, go ahead and click the bookmark button and it'll be in your saved audios. If you wanna go ahead and create that reel, click use audio and it'll take you to the reel upload screen. If you find a reel like this, go ahead and check out that person's profile. You can see their picture down in the bottom. See if they post reels like this often and go ahead and follow them because they're gonna show you trending reels as they come out. You can see that this reel is only showing the first bit of the caption, it's just the first sentence or even less than that. You have to click on the caption to see the rest of it. In order for someone to read the caption on this reel, they do have to click it like that. And so they're still viewing your reel over and over again as they're reading the caption. Now you can see this reel used some text on their reel. And so it makes the caption harder to read. So just bear that in mind when you're typing a longer caption and you're using text that doesn't disappear on your reel. Hashtags are a huge part of Reels. You do want to be using hashtags so that when people search for something specifically, your Reels start to pop up. So we do this for certain audios that we're using, if those are popular, but also for what is in your Reel. So right now you see this is houseplants specifically, and that is the first hashtag that they have. And so they did houseplants, rare plants, philodendron, monstera, kept going with the plants that they had there. And that shows up whenever ser someone searches Monstera or houseplants. They can see a reel, specifically this one. It also starts to show to people who have searched that hashtag as well. So they are very important to use in your Instagram posts and in your Instagram reels.